So this code that we've been editing is just to get it up to code so that it's got the latest jQuery, jQuery mobile, it's got the latest HTML5 tags. So this would be a very good template to start future projects with. Um, this is optional and I'm gonna put my code in the network folder but what I'm gonna do is I, again this is optional but at the very top you've got these weird empty spaces here so I'm actually gonna delete some of these spaces I've got some extra space on line 9 10 11 right here so I'm gonna just delete it down to um, I will do something like this so I, I have title space link to jQuery mobile, comment, link to my Kodika. Then I'm going to cut out those spaces there so that I don't have anything empty in the head, so that I don't have an empty head. So then I'm going to cut that right there. This is optional again. HTML doesn't care. I care because I want my code to look nice. So that's what I did here. Little space there on line 9 and cut that down like that. So now hopefully if I say go to line 20, you're not on a completely wrong line. Um, I kind of hesitate to do that because not everyone will do it and then later on I'll talk about go to line 12 and then your line 12 is different than my line 12. But I'm just cutting out some extra space there. That's the whole point of these .min files actually. They're software that will take your human readable version of your code and compress it down, remove every tab, every extraneous space, compress it down to one line that goes on and on and on and on. So the minified versions, the computers love them, the web browsers love them, because they can process it much faster without all those annoying spaces. But for us as humans, it's unreadable. If you try to open, and you can open jQuery mobile min CSS and JS file with Notepad++, you can open it, but there's going to be no spaces, no comments, it's been minified compressed for the computer. That's why our zip file includes the uncompressed versions, uh, wherever I downloaded it. The uncompressed version will look human readable with comments and such, but we never really need to open or edit those files, these library files. It's like they're a black box. You just use them. That's why we have our own Kodika.extra CSS and Kodika.extra.js. That's where we will write our custom code that will override the defaults. The default gray and black colors are all stored right here, line 10. The default design of our project is in that file. But we're not going to edit it. We're going to run, we're going to define our own custom CSS. You notice it comes after the default. The default loads up and then we can override it. At the very end, where we've got the JavaScript stuff, um, for fun, I'm going to delete that empty space there. So I've got this JavaScript block down here, the jQuery, uh, which then allows the jQuery mobile to work. So then the default behaviors are, are saved there, basically. And then we will create our own custom JavaScript in here, kodika.exo.js. And it comes after because these will override these. So the order is important, as we've talked about before. I'm going to save that. And if I go to my folder, this is what my project looks like so far an images folder with all icons. You can peek in there also and you'll see that little spinning arrow that that um, that might appear for you. It's that. It's a little animated GIF. There's ping and SVG versions of our icons just so that they look well on all devices. In the ping, there's the, let's see, there's the audio icon the bullet icon. So in a sense, I could go to these files, open them up in Fireworks or Photoshop or whatever, and edit them and make my own custom icons. I can just replace the ones that exist instead of that little calendar and make my own calendar. But these are tiny, <laughs> tiny icons. <clears throat> so this is how many? A hundred icons because some are the white version, some are the black version. And there's 50 of them, so you get 100 icons. Back up. That's what's in the images folder. 
then we've got our jQuery mobile CSS, jQuery mobile JS, and jQuery JS, and Codica extra CSS, Codica extra JS. If we open either one of those, nothing very interesting is there yet. So if you if you right click Codica extra CSS, open or edit with Notepad, you'll see put your custom CSS. <laughs> We will. We'll put our own CSS rules, our own selectors in here to change the colors because I'm going to get tired of that plain gray background and that plain gray nav bar and that plain black whatever. I can change them to what I want and save all my color definitions in here. Later on, definitely, we're going to need to write our own JavaScript to make it do all of this cool stuff, such as load the map, ask for your name, later on, maybe send a tweet. Active, uh, access the camera. We're going to write all of that custom code in codica.extra.js and we can take a quick look at it. Nothing really there. Just put your custom code here. It reminds you that comments in JavaScript can be two slashes and comments in CSS can be like this, <coughs> slash asterisk. And then the index. So there again is the are the three layers. Content layer, presentation layer, behavior layer, the three technologies that will make up our app, the three languages. So let's go back to Notepad and let's go to File, Menu, Save All. Save All is useful. It'll save everything that you've done that is open in Notepad. After you do save all, then let's do file close all. So we've closed all the files in Notepad. Then let's exit Notepad. And we'll go back to our folder here. We've got a folder. Uh, notepad plus plus, and then file menu save all. So when I'm here in my flash drive, there's my project that I've been working on so far, and we've set this up enough that it'll be really nice as a template, right? So you can you can uh, right click your project, copy, and right-click, paste. I had us save everything and close everything in Notepad, and then we close Notepad, because sometimes when you copy files and they're still open in an app, you get a conflict that it doesn't let you fully copy it or change it. So that's why we did save all and close all in Notepad. And then I copied my project and I'm going to rename it to say HTML5 template. I'm going to save that. I'm going to tuck it away whenever I need to start again. I won't need to go back to Kodika website and rebuild it. I've got a template that has a header, a footer, a simple nav bar, simple content stuff, all of the proper HTML5 tags, and the latest jQuery and jQuery mobile. <coughs> So when I make future apps, there's my template. I just right-click and copy, and I've got a brand new template to make my amazing new app. I'm sorry, how do you create the template again? <clears throat> on your Kodika project, you want to right-click, copy, and then on an empty spot, just right-click, paste, and then you just change the name of the folder to say HTML5 template. You want to make a template for the whole thing. You need the whole thing because the <laughs> because that includes the the jQuery and the CSS and everything. So they'll make a template of the whole folder, not just the index. It's incomplete. Mm -hmm. 
So this one I will keep safe. Maybe I'll make another backup of it. Maybe I'll put it on another flash drive. But that HTML5 template folder could be my starting point for future apps. The one that I worked on earlier today, it's got a weird name, and I'll change that name also. But our project, when we come back next time, we will continue from that project because that's going to be um, my project. So I'm going to change the name of it. You can keep it the same, but I'm going to keep. I'm going to change the name of that folder. The name ultimately of our project is called MySDCE. So this um, this project that we're doing this unofficial app for the college. We're going to call it MySDCE. So inside of that folder is the mobile website. It's got the index. It's got the jQuery. It's got the images. That's our whole project. And I'm simply just doing a little housekeeping. If you missed what I did, this is basic computer file management and such. But I've got the, the whole project saved as, as a folder. And this we will not start over anymore. This is what we're going to continue for the rest of the semester <laughs> and next month and next month. So we're going to end the main lecture. Um, we're going to make sure that we're kind of set up like this. We'll have the break time and such. And when we come back next time, well, we've got the starting point. Now we need to create new pages and put our proper content in the right screen and add some more cool jQuery mobile features and start building it and adding content and we'll be on our way. So we'll end the main lecture at this point. Make sure you've signed in. As I said, some people's names are not that legible here. Make sure your name is not illegible. We'll have some lab time until 9.30. I'll upload the videos and uh, we'll continue next time.